In this video, we will show you how to replace your vehicle's crankshaft position sensor on this Ford F-150 with an automatic transmission. This will be located along the driver's side of your engine and transmission. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Safely make your way under the vehicle. We need to make our way directly underneath the engine and transmission. Typically there will be a shield in this area. Ours is missing. Go ahead and remove the hardware and the shield. After that, we're going to be focusing on where the engine oil pan is and make our way directly up along the side of the engine and transmission into this area. Now in this area, we're going to have to dislodge this bracket. You'll find that you have a 10 millimeter headed mounting bolt and then up above it, we have a 10 millimeter headed mounting nut. The nut is attached to a stud, which is attached to that engine housing. Let's start with the upper mounting nut. This is the hardest to gain access to. It's not that hard to reach up there. I'm going to be using a ratchet wrench. A quick inspection of the mounting hardware, replace as necessary. This looks fine, we'll set it aside. Now it's time for the mounting bolts down along the bottom area here. Just continue on with that 10 millimeter. We'll remove the bracket. We've got the shield out of the way and we can see the wiring harness for our crankshaft position sensor. It leads inside of this housing area. There's going to be a small rubber plug that you can dislodge. Go ahead and pull that right off of there. A quick inspection. It should have a small slot on it. That's so you can slip it off of the wiring harness. This looks like it is reusable, so we'll set that aside. Now that we have the rubber plug out of the way, we can see the wiring leading into this area and inside there is where the crankshaft position sensor is. Do not disconnect the wiring harness until you've removed the sensor. We'll be using a seven millimeter to start removing the mounting bolt. The bolt itself should essentially stay attached to that crankshaft position sensor. Now that we have that pulled out of there, we're looking for our one locking tab right along here. Just go ahead and squeeze that in, disconnect it. A quick inspection for corrosion on that wiring harness. And there it is, friend. Now that we have that sensor out of there, let's just make sure we clean up the mounting area, make sure there's no miscellaneous debris in our way. Just gonna use a clean rag for this. We do not need to use any parts cleaner inside this area. All right, let's get ready to install our brand new crankshaft position sensor. We're going to start with the electrical connector first, Plugging that into the crankshaft position sensor. We'll just line this up with the locking tab there, press it in. Listen for a click from that. A little tug confirming it's properly secured. Now I'm using a boroscope inside this area so you can see that threaded port for our mounting bolt. Just above that threaded port is where you're going to see another small port. That's where the sensor itself needs to slide into. Now with that said, let's go ahead and start installing our sensor with that wire pre-attached. You do not want to drop the sensor into this area. So we'll start getting the sensor in position. We have the mounting bolts just below the sensor. This part's going to be fairly difficult because it's almost impossible to see while you're actually doing this. But the sensor itself will essentially go up against the engine and then we're going to slide this straight in. can take several attempts. It needs to be lined up just right. Okay, right there's bottom dough. Once you have that snug, torque it to 89 inch pounds. Now it's time to install our rubber protective plug here. We have that small slit for the wiring harness to slide through. We'll make sure we press this in and bottom it out against the engine. Okay. 
Continue on to your metal shield. Let's get this in position here. This protects the wiring harness from that hot exhaust while your vehicle's running. We'll start on the mounting nut up along the top there. After these are started in, go ahead and snug them up. Make sure they're nice and tight. One last quick inspection in this area, and we can make our way out from under the vehicle. Okay, friend, we finished our installation. The next thing that you need to do is make your way into the passenger compartment. Start up your vehicle, let it run for a short while, make sure you have no running condition and no check engine light. If you do have a running condition or check engine light, you need to use a scan tool and perform a calibration. After that, go ahead and take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.